Hi all. Today we can discuss about Milne-Thompson method. It is a method to determine the analytic function. So when we can use this Milne-Thompson method? If in the analytic function f of z, if only the real part u is given or only the imaginary part v is given or the combination of both real and imaginary part that is u plus v or u minus v given then we can use milne thompson method to determine that analytic function so how to do this method that we can see first of all consider this analytic function u plus iv first we can take the derivative of partial derivative of this function with respect to x then what we are getting dou u by dou x plus i dou v by dou x Okay, that is we are taking the partial derivative of the function with respect to x. Then we can denote it as f dash z. Now we can take the first case, case 1, if u is given, if the real part u is given, how to do this? Then we don't know the imaginary part v, so we can replace that term with v using the cauchy riemann conditions. So we know that this dou v by dou x is, according to cauchy riemann condition, this dou v by dou x is equal to minus dou u by dou y, second cauchy riemann condition. So when we are substituting here, what we are getting f dash is set is equal to dou u by dou x, minus i into dou v by dou x we can replace by dou u by dou y. Second case, if v is given, that is if imaginary part is given, what we have to do? We have to replace the real part term, that is dou u by dou x we don't know. So that time we can use the first Cauchy Riemann condition. What is the first Cauchy Riemann conditions? Dou u by dou x is equal to dou v by dou v by dou y. So we can use this. So dou u by dou x becomes dou v by dou y plus i into dou v by dou x. Okay. Now, uh, in this, this is a first step. Okay. That is, this is a step one. In step one, what we are doing? We are taking the derivative of the partial derivative of the given real part or imaginary part with respect to x or uh, y. Then in the step 2, we are substituting in this f dash z. In f dash z, put x equal to z and y equal to 0. Okay. The step 2, the function we obtained after differentiation, put x equal to z and y equal to 0. Now then we are getting a new function then we are getting a new function. If we want, we can call it as g of z. Then we are getting a new function that we can call as g of z. So now we have a function f dash z with x equal to z and y equal to 0. Then what is our uh, aim? We have to find the analytic function. So if we know the derivative of the function, how to find out that uh, function itself? By integrating. So what will be f of z? f of z will be integral of f dash z. The new f dash z that is the g of z. What is g of z? That is f dash z with the x equal to z and y equal to 0 with respect to z. So because the now the new function is in terms of z. So the integration is with respect to z. Then this will be the analytic function. So what we have to do? First of all, we have to take the partial derivative of the given real part or imaginary part with respect to x and y. Then if, you, if the real part is given, use this formula. If the imaginary part is given, use this formula. Then in the step 2, we have to put that x equal to z and y equal to 0. Then we have to integrate that new function. Okay. So we can do some numericals, then it will be more clear. So see the first question, find the analytic function if u equal to x cube minus 3xy square. So in this first step what we have to do? First step we have to take the partial derivative of this real part with respect to x and y. That is dou u by dou x and dou u by dou y. So what is dou u by dou x? 3x square minus 3 y square. What is dou u by dou y? In that it is 3 uh, 
minus 3 into y square derivative is 2y that is minus 6xy okay here which part is given u is given so if u is given which formula we have to use f dash z is equal to dou u by dou x minus i dou u by dou y okay now uh, in the second step, we have to substitute, this is step 1, in the second step, we have to substitute uh, x equal to z and y equal to 0. So, what will be our x dash z, f dash z equal, equal to dou u by dou s 3x square, then x equal to z. So, what we are getting 3z square minus 3y square. Why? What do we have to substitute? 0. So, that m will cancel. Minus i into dou u by dou y minus 6xy. x equal to z and y equal to 0. So, this term also will see become 0. So, that is our f dash z is 3z square. So, this is our new function g of z. Okay. So, what is our f of z? Integrate this function with respect to z. So, that is integral g of z dz. So, that is integral 3z square dz. So, that is 3 into z cube by 3 plus c that is z cube plus c. So, if the real part is given, we can determine the analytic function using the milner thomson method. See the second question, find the analytic function if v equal to y square minus x square. So, first of all, what we have to do? Take the partial derivative with respect to x and y. So, while taking the partial derivative, this is the imaginary part. So, while taking the partial derivative, this will become minus y square minus 2x on, that, that, uh, on taking the partial derivative with respect to y, this will become 2y. So, when the imaginary part is given, okay, if v is given, what is our f dash z? That is dou v by dou y, okay, dou v by dou y plus i into dou v by dou x, okay, dou v by dou y plus i into dou v by dou x. So, what we are getting, so f dash z is equal to dou v by dou y with next we what we have to do also we have to substitute x equal to z and y equal to 0. So when we are substituting this dou v by dou y substitute y equal to 0 and x equal to z. So dou v by dou y is 2y so 2 into y equal to 0 so this term will become 0 plus i into dou v by dou x that is minus 2x substitute x as z. So this will become minus 2z. So, what we are getting? Minus 2iz. So, what, how to find out the analytic function? By integrating this function. This is the new function g of z. So, g of z integral with respect to z. That is minus 2i integral z dz. So, that is minus 2i z square by 2 plus c. 2, 2 will cancel. That is minus i z square plus c. Okay, so uh, the imaginary part is given, we can find out the analytic function like this. Only thing we have to remember, if the real part or imaginary part, what is f dash z? If the real part is, it is f dash z equal to dou u by dou x minus i dou u by dou y. Here, if the imaginary part is given, f dash z is equal to dou v by dou y plus i dou v by dou x. Okay. Now, we have seen that how to find out the analytic function if the real part or imaginary part is given. Now, we can move to the third uh, type that is if the combination of the real part and imaginary part is given that is u plus v or u minus v is given. See this question, in this question if u minus v that is given then find the analytic function then how to find out it is using milner thompson's method how to find out this first of all we can write the function f of z is equal to u plus iv to find the uh, analytic function we can multiply this function with i okay then what we are getting i u plus i square v so i square is minus so minus 1 so this will become minus v this is equation number 2 
Now we can add these two functions. What we are getting 1 plus i into f of z is equal to u minus v plus i into here v plus u. Okay, that is u plus v. Okay, so this is equation number 3. So we got a new function 1 plus i into f of z is equal to u minus v plus i into u plus v. Now we can write this as capital letter f of z. This u minus v as capital letter u plus this u plus v as capital letter v. Now this forms a new analytic function with a real part as u. What is the real part there? The real part u is equal to u minus v and the imaginary part capital letter v is equal to u plus v and the new function f of z is equal to 1 plus i into f of z. Okay. Now come to this question. Here it is given the u minus v. So in this u minus v means the real part capital letter u is given. That is u is equal to u minus v is given. So we can go to the uh, method that we used earlier. That is u is equal to this capital letter u is equal to x minus y into x square plus 4xy plus y square. So take the partial derivative with respect to x and y. So what is the partial derivative? Dou u by dou x is equal to first function x minus y into derivative of the second function that is 2x plus 4y plus second function that is x square plus 4xy plus y square into derivative of the first function that is 1. Take the partial derivative with respect to y then it become first function x minus y into derivative of the second function with respect to y that is here 4x plus 2y plus second function that is x square plus 4xy plus y square into derivative of first function that is minus 1. Now the real part we have. Okay, the new real part we have. So, if the real part is given, what is our uh, f dash is it? That is f dash is it? Which f capital letter f? The new function. Okay. So, f dash is it? Is equal to what formula we are using? Do u by do x minus i do u by do y with f dash is it? With x equal to z and y is equal to 0. So what we are getting this is equal to dou u by dou x that is here x equal to z y equal to 0. So this will become z here x equal to y 0 x equal to z so it will become 2 z this y become 0 plus x square that is x equal to z is z square plus 4xy 0, y is term is here, y becomes 0, minus i into, this is the real part there, minus i into dou u by dou y, x equal to z minus 0, that is z, into here x equal to z, so 4z, okay, plus x square, that is z square, plus this is y term is there 0, y term is here 0, okay. Into minus 1 also there, okay. Into minus 1 there. So, this will become minus z square, okay. So, what we are getting f dash z is equal to, this is 2 z square plus z square, that is 3 z square minus i into, this is 4 z square minus z square, that is 3 z square okay so next step this is the new function g of z okay so what next what we have to do we have to we can find out the f of z by integrating this new function with respect to z that is 3 into z square derivative is z cube by 3 so 3 3 will cancel so this is z cube minus i into 3 this z square become z cube by 3 that is z cube okay so what is the new function z cube minus i 
z cube okay so this is the new function f of z so what is f of z there our f of z is 1 plus i into our uh, original function that is f of small letter f of z is equal to z cube minus i z cube that is we can write it as 1 minus i into z cube z cube i have taken outside so 1 minus i into z cube so what is our function f of z is equal to there will be one constant also okay okay for z is equal to 1 minus i into z cube divided by 1 plus i into plus uh, c by 1 plus i so this is equal to if the uh, in the denominator one complex term is there what we are doing we are multiplying that with the complex conjugate that is here 1 minus i also multiply the numerator also with the complex conjugate then that term will become 1 minus i all square plus this is c constant by another uh, term so this is a new constant capital letter c so that is equal to 1 minus 2i plus uh, i square i square is minus 1 okay minus 1 divided by this is 1 square minus i square into z cube plus c so this is 1 this minus 1 will cancel this i square is minus 1 this minus is plus so this will become 2 and this minus 2i by 2 is minus 1 so what we are getting that is minus i z cube plus c okay so this is a uh, analytic function if the combination is given okay in this question it is given u minus v if u plus v is given that will be the imaginary part of the new function that means here we have made a new function capital letter f of z is equal to capital letter u plus i into capital letter v okay so what is this f of is always remember this f of z is 1 plus i into our original analytic function f of z this u is what is that u minus v plus this i is u plus v Okay, so in the question, instead of this u minus v, if u plus v is given, what method do we have to use? Then what will be if v u plus v is given, what method we have to use? Then in the capital letter f dash z will be dou v by dou y, capital letter dou v by dou y plus i into dou v by dou y x that is the uh, how we uh, done if the imaginary part only given in the earlier question okay similarly we have to go only thing finally we have to replace from the uh, new capital f of z to this original uh, analytic function so you try more questions all the best